So let's think a little bit about whether type dispatching is a good idea. So the nice thing about type dispatching is that it's a minimal violation of abstraction barriers. We define cross-type functions as necessary, which know the representation of two different types, but we only define as few as we need. And it's very extensible. So especially in our version that uses those dictionaries, a new numeric type could just install itself into the existing system by adding new entries into the add implementations. So uh, we have add and we have add implementations. And as long as we extend the type tags and those add implementations, we could, for instance, add some additional type, uh, some integer type, for instance, and everything would just work. But we have to wonder how many different cross-type implementations are required. So think about how many are required for M types and N operations. How many different functions will we have to write that violate abstraction barriers by knowing about representations of two different classes at the same time? So my answer is M times N minus one times N. So this chooses some type, chooses some different type, and then we have all those different operations. Addition, multiplication, maybe division, subtraction, who knows what might go in there. And so there's a fair number of different functions that we need to write. So why is that? Well, one way you can think about it is that there's just a table, which includes what type of thing the first argument is, what type of thing the second argument is, how to add those things together, and how to multiply. Now this is the same type. So there's no violation of abstraction barriers, anything in here. But these two down here are cross type implementations. So we have two different types. Each of those has one other type that we have to worry about. And then we have these two different operations, giving us four different functions that we have to fill in. 